Step 1. Wetting down the glass. You'll note that the pad is on top of the tool instead of on the bottom of the tool. This is my preferred method of using a pivoting tool for pole work. I found that it's easier to flip up and down and it doesn't interfere with any closing outs. Make sure that you're using firm pressure and keeping an eye out for any debris of the glass. Also make sure that you're not jamming your mop into the sides of the window. This will prevent excess detailing when you're ready to remove the water with your squeegee. Step 2. Cutting in. Each time you cut in, you will have to flick the pad. To do so, give the pole an upwards push to flick the pad back. One of the great things about using a pivoting tool for pole work is the flexibility that the tool allows. You can cut in at different points on windows in different ways. Here, for standard windows, I typically cut in at the center of the glass. Step 3. Clearing the sides. This is my preferred method of using a pivoting tool on a pole. I will remove all of the water from both sides of the window, leaving a mountain in the middle of the glass. Step 4. Fanning the center of the window. The movements of the squeegee are controlled by the hand at the bottom of the pole twisting back and forth. The other hand on the pole is applying light pressure and it is controlling where the pole is moving. I typically work with my dominant hand at the end of the pole that controls the movements of the squeegee. After mastering this, you will want to practice with your less dominant hand at the bottom of the pole because you are going to encounter obstacles and situations where you're going to have to switch hands. Step 5. Closing out. You will find closeouts with a pivoting tool on a pole allows a lot of flexibility and freedom. You can close out on different spots on the window depending on the obstacles and situation. On standard windows like this, I typically close out in the center or near the right of the window. To flip your mop back over the squeegee, simply give it the same upwards motion push as we did before. You will simply repeat this entire process until all of the windows are clean. I would also like to mention that I did not develop this technique. I picked it up from a fellow YouTuber named Poles and Blades or Bob Hat. I will leave a link in the description below to his channel. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. I made it in such a way that it could be paused and replayed at any point during this process. Stay tuned for more how to clean windows with Luke the Window Cleaner. Hey, Alex from windowcleaner.com and window cleaning resource. If you like this video or the tools featured in this video, be sure to check out windowcleaner.com slash shop for more crazy, awesome information. Or you can give us a call at 862-266-0677. We were actually window cleaners before we started selling all this stuff. So we can make a really awesome recommendation and help you narrow down the perfect tools and equipment just for you. If you want even more information, be sure to check out windowcleaner.com slash community. Thanks.